Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, this video is not gonna be a normal video. We're gonna go from bumper to bumper on a cyber truck and see if we like it. So we got the owner of the car, Dennis. Welcome to my palazzo. Hello. Great. And you're gonna give me a preview of your car. Congrats, first of all. This thing is incredible. You know, I've seen it online, of course, but one thing you don't get online is the scale of the car. When you see it in person, I mean, look at this thing. It's taller than me. It's huge. Woo! And looks like he took a few shots getting here. So it's bulletproof, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Los Angeles is a dangerous area. <laughs> yeah, no, incredible. I mean, the first thing I've noticed that blew my mind was the scale of the car. This car is so much bigger in person. It's hard to see the size and scale online, but whoo, boy, look at the size of wheel, tires and everything, very cool. And of course, that's a wrap. Yes, yeah. Well, we're not wrapping the video yet, but that's a wrap on the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a red wrap by uh, TinyBot Jinjitsu, uh -huh. wrapped by Bespoke Design Lab, so it's Amazing. really nice. But what do you think about the red color? I like it. I like it. It's kind of like a, you know, matte uh, cherry. I'm colorblind, so I don't know, but is that cherry? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's like a dark red. That's close enough. <laughs> like a wine red, yeah. actually. That's what it's like. Ah. But let me tell you about my, yeah, uh, tell my me. inspiration tell me about of this. So if you look at the front of the Cybertruck, yeah. it actually kind of looks like Iron Man. Uh -huh. Like his mask. Ah, you're right. So yes. that's what I was trying to go for, his suit, his body suit for the yeah. Iron Man. Look. I can see that. That's amazing. Yeah. Look at the size of the windshield washer. Ooh. I think this is the Tesla's or the automotive industry's biggest oh. windshield. Uh, for of yeah, course windshield wiper like and windshield crazy all right so take me take me through the car yep Can't so see it. let's jump into the back first so you can uh -huh. see what that's like because it is a pickup truck at the end of the day so go ahead and push this button wow it's got a turbo <laughs> yeah so it's a lockable tonneau yep. cover that keeps everything secure it's a six foot bed which i don't know if you own any other trucks but i think no. it's a pretty decent sized bed it's huge not exactly too it's sure. It's huge. Yeah, you could carry a palm tree in here. And then we'll go ahead and push this button. It's a oh, drop wow. lift gate. Not motorized, so you have yeah. to kind of lift it yourself, but yeah. big enough space, I would say. On top of that, there's three outlets right here, two 110s uh -huh. and a 220. Amazing. Yeah, this thing's a utility truck. It's got every all the bells and whistles. And uh, what is this over here? I mean, there's so many sockets. Is this to put another rack in here? Because there's like four, right? Yes, yeah. So there's a bunch of mountable areas for a rack. And then also there's one at the top for a light bar that no Tesla's going to sell at the end of the day as well. Cool. And so go ahead and close the tunnel cover now. Oh, look at that. And what's great about this cover is yeah. that it's lockable, which is perfect for California. You know, yeah. keep your stuff secure. And it can support up to 300 pounds standing on it. No way. Okay. Uh, all right, at your risk. <laughs> You sure? Yeah, so just don't jump, okay? Just right. <laughs> Oh, wow. What can you see? Woo. Oh, I'm king of the castle, king of the castle. <laughs> can you see over your building or not? Oh, no. <laughs> but this is really solid, yep. you know? Well, you know what's cool? If you're being uh, followed and you think they're gonna, you know, jump you and kill you, you can always jump in here and close it. Exactly. Right? <laughs> and so it's like a little locker room, you know? No. And it's protective metal, so yeah. you're perfectly fine. Now, Dennis, yeah. is this the one with the uh, built-in cooler as well? Uh, no, I don't think there is one with built-in cooler. The one uh, underneath, that little, it has a drain plug and everything? Oh, uh, yeah, it's like a, a little area down there, but um, it uh, doesn't... Uh... Oh, wow, there is more. Oh, Ooh, that's cool. cool. Yeah, because I've seen people online use it as like a... They throw ice in there yeah. and then they put, they put a, a couple of drinks. So, what's the weight of the car? Because uh, this think, is, looks like 10,000 pounds. I think it's 6,500. 60, wow, that's impressive. Yeah. Because it's all steel, right? Mm -hmm. All steel, stainless yeah. steel, uh, body, all on all panels. Yeah, look at the bumper. That's kind of crazy I mean, to you consider are. like the uh, the Hummer yeah. is what, like almost 10,000 pounds? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look at the sheer size of this thing. It's only under 7,000 pounds. That's very look, incredible how they manage the weight yeah. for an electric car, you know? It definitely looks bigger than yeah. what uh, what it, like more heavier and bigger than what it yeah. actually looks so like. So I'm sure the, the higher range version is going to be heavier because of the battery or no? It's all the same, same? battery size. So really? 123 kilowatts for all, or the two uh -huh. levels, the mid-level and the high level. I so see. This is the all-wheel drive foundation, which is zero to 60 in 4.1 seconds. Mm -hmm. There's a higher level, which is the Cyber Beast, zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds. What? That's like 
Bugatti Fest. And what is that going to cost? Like that, 50,000 more? Probably. So that's a base MSRP yeah. of 100K, but uh -huh. there's a $20,000 foundation series package, oh, yeah. which is the markup. Okay. Man, I can't wait to test ride this puppy. Yeah. Ooh. So go ahead. Thank Another you. thing that's interesting yeah. is this door. That's how you oh. open it. And then you can lift it, see how uh -huh. heavy it is. Oh, wow. Really interesting. I like how it has different like positions on the door where it was make a stop before the next range. It's really cool. Oh, it is a little cramped up back here. Even for me, it's a little tight, <laughs> but yeah, but I'll take it. I'm just <laughs> but also this front seat is reclined a little bit because we just did a road yeah. trip from Vegas. So that's uh -huh. why she was sitting like a little bit more laid back. Wow. So question, so do, does, do this uh, back seats fold if you need more like length to put something in or no? They don't fold, uh -huh. but there is a latch right here. So let me uh -huh. show you. So pull this latch. Uh -huh. Ah. Pull up. So oh, that's kind of cool. Very nice. Not bad. Carbon fiber. <laughs> oh, and then on top of that, they are, these are two things that are aftermarket. Uh -huh. This is uh, from Unplugged Performance carbon fiber uh, fender flares, and then they're 20 inch rims uh, from Unplugged Performance as well. Very cool. If you want to jump Thank into you. the driver's oh, seat? Oh yeah. yeah! Say no more! <laughs> it's uh, actually pretty visible. I thought, you know, with it, such a hard corners they cut, you're not going to have good visibility, but it's pretty wide open. Yeah. You know? Uh, the one thing though is yeah. like this, this, this pillar, yeah. right, a pillar right here. That's like, even though the camera is there, so, yeah. but that is a blocking. Blind spot. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, pretty big side mirror size, you know? Yeah. All and right. You do have cameras here. So this is Tesla's first mm. front camera and back camera as oh, well. Oh, nice. So look, get your whole building in there. See, I can go property preview without getting out of my car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do property inspections. Yep, exactly. <laughs> 360 all around, but oh. no 360. So, but before we leave, yeah. go ahead and push the brake yeah. and turn the wheel all the way to the left. That's it. Oh, I hope I didn't break it. No, and fine. then what? That's it, but that's it because of the, the steer by wire. Now turn it all the way to the right. Oh, Did you're you kidding. Full lock. Oh my God. The full lock is yeah. what, 90 degrees? That's crazy. Yeah. All right, well, let's see if we can exit here without banging the gate. So just be mindful that because it's such, it's a more aggressive steering ratio yeah. because of the new technology. Oh, this is so weird. This is so awkward. <laughs> uh, maybe you should have taken it out. <laughs> no, I don't know, I feel it. like the rear is going to hit because the rear is turning too. Yep. It's so awkward. Oh. oh my God, I feel like the car, the, this is so weird. The rear, <laughs> the rear is moving as much as the front. Yeah. The super wire aggressiveness changes at, you know, as you go faster. Yeah, look how much bigger it is than this SUV in front of us. <laughs> mm -hmm. But still shorter than that truck right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, you know, Maybe it's the angles, the way they design the car. Mm -hmm. You know, it peaks over here at the at the roof, right? Right. It, it makes it even look bigger than right. it is. Yeah, I like how you can see everything here. The you know the bigger screen. Yeah. And, and so even though there's cool. a baby mirror, you do have a digital mirror right yeah. here that you can move right here. Oh, nice. It's a bigger size. Beautiful. Yeah. Very nice. So what's the range on this one? If you drive it, you know, not so aggressive, but normal. So no, it's interesting because it's supposed to be rated at 320 for mm -hmm. the rims and everything, but we just took it to Vegas and back. And because of the efficiency, it was probably closer to like 240. 240, like 75 miles the whole way. Yeah. Um, but driving around yeah. California, it's warmer, uh, probably getting like 280, 290. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad, yeah. you know, for this size of a truck. What kind of reactions do you get at the supercharger? It's... Oh yeah, I bet you got... Everyone comes around with their phone and... Right. Yeah, everywhere. It's like 30% uh -huh. excitement, 30% confused. They have no idea what it is. They're yeah. like, what is that? And they're like, oh, it's uh -huh. Tesla. And 30% they know like exactly what it is and they take pictures and everything. Uh, but the cool thing is it, it's yeah. all ages, all demographics. Whereas mm -hmm. like, you know, like some other vehicles, like only guys care, right? Yeah. Like Porsches, right? Oh but, yeah, who wouldn't love this car? Yeah, yeah. everybody loves this and car. And here's the thing, it's got to be the cheapest, I guess least expensive bulletproof car you can buy on the planet. Yes. Right? Yeah. Just for that, Nate, find me a deal. <laughs> <laughs> no, and you think about it, it's probably the best advertisement car yeah. as well because everybody's taking pictures, at least for the first six months. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I'm trying to go incognito because everybody's like, hey, Manny, <laughs> great success. <laughs> well, I'm on the phone. <laughs> I love my fans, but you know, I want to go incognito. This is the opposite. Exactly. People probably will follow me all the way to my home. Yeah. All right, let's test the brakes. Not bad. Oh, Sorry. No worries. <laughs> so to get one of these now, obviously you got to pay a big premium, right? Yeah. People so have offered you, I'm sure, premium for this one. So you might have a better answer to this yeah. because uh, Tesla, with this truck, mm -hmm. instituted a no resale policy. I heard about that. Yeah. One year, no resale. If you resell it, they can sue you oh. for a minimum of 50K all the way up to whatever profit you make. But I've heard like really? Lamborghini and Ferraris, they've tried to do that in the past as well, but people yeah. have figured out loopholes on that. Um, yeah. But uh, That's crazy. Well, oh, the demand's got to be nuts on this truck, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. What's your impressions on the ride right now? Pretty comfortable. Are you kidding me? This is like, uh, honestly, it's much more comfortable than my Platt Tesla S. Okay. Um, I feel like this one has better suspension. Okay. Um, I sold my Plaid edition at two of them because I have a lower back problem. Okay. And honestly, after driving it for a month, my back pain came back, right? Right. Then I jumped in my other car, the, the, the Dawn, and it was fine. So it, it, I feel like you feel the road more in the uh, Model S. Mm -hmm. This 100%. one, I don't feel the road. You, you're, maybe it's the tires, obviously, you know, it's got a lot more bounce to it. It absorbs the, the road, you know. Uh, it's like stock star ties, but, yeah. stock size tires, but this has air suspension, wow. just like how the Model S did, and it rides much yeah. more higher. That's why the comfortability yeah. is. Yeah, I mean, just changing lanes, it feels like so weird with the rear steering wheel. Yes, you know? yeah, it's less effort. Yeah, very easier to drive than any other car. Yeah. Nate, find me one. <laughs> <laughs> now, does it feel like you're driving a seven thousand? No, no, definitely feels lighter. The only thing I'm not used to, I keep looking at this rear view mirror and you don't see anything. I got to look over here. Yeah. So it's a, it, you know, it's a little awkward, you know, with the windshield angle and, and the size and the blind spots on the corner, but it, just like anything else, you get used to it. Right? Exactly. And right now the tonneau cover is closed, so we can't yeah. open it. Really? And then the visibility will help. You're kidding. So while you're driving, you can have that thing open? Exactly, yeah. So there you go. Oh. Now you can see. Oh, wow. But of course, well, you sacrifice efficiency. Well, I was going to say, how about if you had, you know, a bunch oh. of loot back there? Oh, yeah, and right. it's all oh, gone. Oh, my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all my water bottles. Right? Oh, man. You so got to put a net over there. Yeah. Right, yeah. Tell us, what are the downsides, like things you don't like about the car? Because there's so much impressive points on the car but for sure yeah. efficiency is definitely because uh, i have a model x as well yeah model x is way better even like model y model 3 does way better in terms of uh, miles per battery uh, this one you have to charge a lot more uh, depending on where you go and on yeah. the other drawback which kind of a weird drawback because i'm a first time truck owner mm -hmm. never owned one at all this mm -hmm. is my first one and so getting used to the size uh kind of mm. sucks um or not doesn't suck but it's just you know getting learning yeah. from it uh because like you know beverly hills west hollywood like the tighter spaces yeah i was going to say yeah how do you even get into parking lot i mean it is a pretty long car what's the length of it, is uh, it 11 12 feet? 228 inches oh yeah that's what it is but uh but what's really nice uh -huh. though even though it's a long car the rear steering helps a lot when you're uh -huh. trying to get into yeah. a parallel park yeah yeah so really nice with Very that. Cool. Other drawback, it, it kind of seems a little half baked with mm -hmm. features. Like other Teslas have autopilot, full self driving. Driving. This doesn't have it. Nope, this uh, doesn't have it yet. But it's coming yeah. soon, right? Yeah. And uh, another. But the cool thing is they make the Plaid edition, right? Is the is what? Is, what is that one? The Foundry edition. Oh, uh, Cyber six. Beast. Oh, Cyber Beast. Yeah. So they have that version. If I were to buy one, I would give one of those. But I'm not gonna wait five years. No. You know. You want it now. <laughs> uh. But it's gonna be hard for you to find someone that is okay with selling because yeah. of that one year penalty. Yeah. So. No, why would you wanna sell it? This is so cool. Yeah. I think like, it's gonna be cool for you know, multiple years, not just first two months you own it. Right? Exactly. Because there's nothing else like it. And I don't think any other manufacturer is gonna have the balls to do what Elon did with all this because it's not cost effective for manufacturing high production. You know? Right. All these things are not, um, you know, doesn't go for a scalability, but he just wanted to do it because it's cool. Right, you so, wanted to see the future. Yeah. Fourth Sorry. or third drawback, uh -huh. no parking sensors. 
What? So when you're backing up to a spot, yeah. there's no alert, nothing, no distance. How alert. is that possible? Why wouldn't he put that in there? I mean, that's. I think like, it's coming yeah. soon with the update. Uh, yeah. But I mean, you do have fantastic uh, cameras, view. right? So yeah. You should yeah, be able to judge but, it yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that that would make definitely my wife nervous. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> big car. Yeah. Oh wow, this is so trippy. All right. Yeah, I must admit though, the braking scares me a little bit. Yeah, and that's like with all Teslas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I that was yeah my biggest complaint with the Model S was the braking power, especially on the Plaid edition. Yeah. And if somebody pulls in front of you, those brakes are not equipped to handle no, yeah. deceleration that quickly. Let's see if I can get this puppy back in the gate. Oh, not that. Holy moly! <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> what happened? That is trippy. Oh, the, the steering? Yeah, the rear. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? This thing doing the Macarena. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. A lot more power. So now it's in uh, sport mode, right? Sport mode, yep. This wow. is the zero to 60. I like this mode. Very <laughs> nice. Modes. Woo. In my country, I give it a thumbs up. I like it. Yeah. Well, Dennis, Thank thanks you. for bringing it over. Of course. Any final yeah. thoughts? Uh, final thoughts is I'm going to get on Tesla.com and see what's the lead time to get one of these things. <laughs> and um, and I'm sure over 6,000 pounds, they probably have some, you know, cool options yep. for lease payments. And uh, yeah. Nate, let's awesome. go upstairs and get on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you how I turned my real estate portfolio from $1 million to $100 million in just six years. In my coaching programs, I don't just give you a roadmap. I actually teach you how to underwrite deals, how to find it, and how to add value using my strategies I've learned in the past 30 years. And there's no better time than now because the next two years are going to present the best buying opportunities in my opinion, for commercial real estate. Take advantage of my commercial real estate contrarian academy programs. It comes with live calls, accountability coach, as well as property previews by me. And you also get access to me on a monthly basis. Basically, in the six month time, I'm going to teach you most of my strategies that I've learned in the past 30 years that proven to be successful for me. Gain access to my free real estate training video by clicking the button below.